So guys, we're ready to make some dal puri here. You need flour, some oil. This is the water that you boil the dal in, the, the, the split peas with some turmeric in there. And you need, you need a, table, a teaspoon or a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna just uh, average the salt in here. A teaspoon of salt. Put that in there. I'll have to give it a mix. Give it a mix. I'm going to put like a tablespoon of this oil in here. Mix this in. Rub the oil into the flour. Rub the oil into the flour and mix it in there. Rub the oil into the flour. Yeah, you do that for about a two minutes or so. Get the oil into the flour. And then we'll start with pour a little bit of water at a time because you don't want to pour too much. You can you can't take it out once it's in there. And to bring in order to bring the dough together. It's coming together and I will bring this dough together and I'll be back. I'll be right back. So guys, my dough is coming together. It, it has come together. And uh, I'll just give it a, a few kneads. We wouldn't kill it with kneading because we're not making bread. Uh, just give it a few kneads and it gets uh, really smooth. So we have our dough and we'll leave it in here to rest for at least 15 minutes and then we'll be back uh, to continue the process of make of the of the dough and obviously we have more things to do so while your dough is resting there for 15 minutes we'll do the we'll grind the peas the dal um, with our ingredients I have some um, some cumin powder cumin seeds in there and some garam masala and a little bit of salt i'll put in here i have already boiled with salt but i'll just put a little more to give it a good to give it a good flavor and to make sure i have enough so this is going to go into the processor and we're going to get it to a very fine consistency like a powdery consistency two batches you know you need to scrape the sides down at least make sure everything gets in there it's under the blade Oh. 
Or you can use a potato ricer. If you have a ricer, potato ricer, you can use that. ready to a very thin, very fine consistency. Okay, so I'll go ahead, finish this, get the rest done, and I'll be back. So here we are, I got it to the perfect consistency that I want. So it's uh, nice and powdery, and then we'll, uh, we'll make these into little balls so that we can put them into the puri and when we're ready. So we'll set this aside because it's been 15 minutes and the dough is rested. The dough has been resting and uh, we will now continue the process with the dough. Put, it, put uh, another tablespoon of oil on here and we're going to Knead that oil in to the dough. <clears throat> Knead this oil into the dough here. Turn it out onto a floured surface, which seems to be what I need to do. <coughs> Keep some flour in there. So I'll put it out here into a floured surface. Keep your bowl handy. that's done, you put it back into the bowl, just make sure it has a little oil in there so it won't stick, swoosh that around, okay, and we'll recover and let it sit for 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes, if it sits for an hour, even better, even better, so we'll have that sit there. In the meantime, we're going to go back to our peas and we're going to continue processing our peas. So now that the dough is rested <clears throat> and I have my, um, my, my doll uh, balls um, already made out, that I have divided the dough into equal parts. I have uh, like eight or nine pieces there and same amount of balls and I will now incorporate the the, the the peas balls into the into the dough so here we go so here we are these are the the doll balls or the peas balls that have been made after we ground the peas and we added uh, a few seasonings to it and we made it into a ball now this is the the um the flour that we've been that has been resting for a while now we're going to open the flour and press it open and stretch a little stretch it open then we take one of the peas balls in there and we just enclose it and close it into the flour into the flour ball and it's totally enclosed in there you just seal the back press it down and then you can press it 
and make like a disc and you're done okay you'll do the same here for the next one open it out like a and then you take the disc the uh, the ball the the peas ball or the doll ball <laughs> and you just enclose it into the into the dough and you press it make sure it's sealed and you have another a disc and we do the same for the rest of them okay so we we'll just stretch it out. Take the ball, stretch it out. Put the place the ball in the center. Close, 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 close all around. Close all around. All right. So we have finished the rest, and then we'll be back for the rolling and the baking process. okay now this is the first set I've done the first batch um, is finished well, not the first batch the first two of the of the entire batch but, um, uh, I'll just show you how, how this is all how this all comes together so after rolling it rolling it into a nice 8 inch disc place it onto the board the board the broiler and the, well you can use a um, there's a, a, a an instrument called a tower or you can use a, a hot pan whatever hot pan you have in order to make this uh, thing, but you can get the original tower uh, at most of the West Indian stores that are in, uh, in in Brooklyn or wherever you are. But for right now, I personally I've been using a um, I've been using this grill, this electric grill, for the last uh, 20 years, I think. Yeah. Because I've been I've been making these for a very long time, and I've used this grill for a, a, for the, at least the last 20 years. I've been using that, and um, it's it comes out perfect every time. So there's no burn marks uh, or anything like that, um, and you can control the heat. You can turn it up, turn it down. I mean, it's right here, you know. So. It's not like it's uh, like you gotta pull pull the wood fire out and all that, but um, it's not like. But, um, but with the modernization of everything, we just have to we have to go along with it. So, and because uh, my parents made it on the tower on the wood on the wood fire. I mean, you know, and to, to cool the wood fire down, you, to, you pull some of the wood out of there and all that. But we don't have all that going on right now. So um, I'm just going to flip our doll puris and then um, and we'll go from here. We just uh, we'll do some oiling. Then we flip this again. Oil the other side. Oil the other side. And then you flip this back and let that cook. So you flip the first side and you oil it. Make sure all the edges are oiled and everything else. And then we flip it to the other side. We oil that side. And 
then we flip it back over. Once we finish oiling, we flip it, flip it back over. And then it cooks. Let it, let it cook for at least a minute or so on that side. And then we'll go back to it. You just keep turning them, turning them. And it's, I just let it go. It's nice, it fluffs, it fluffs up, it shows the separation. That means the piece is in there. It shows the separation of the two layers and the piece is in between the layers. So uh, that's what you want. You want it to fluff up a little bit, you know, and, uh, and show that the, it, has, it has the piece in there. So, okay, so I'll finish the rest of it and then we'll be, I'll be back to show you the finished product and then we will incorporate it and plate it with the curry, with the shrimp curry. Here we go, guys. I have um, nine wonderful, wonderfully soft and sinful rotis here, uh, puris, dal puris. This is the dal puri, and now I'm going to um, make the uh, the shrimp curry, which we're going to put with this uh, dal puri to make it a delectable dinner. Here we go, guys. This is the shrimp curry with the dal puri, dal puri and shrimp curry uh, that I'm serving for dinner tonight. So I hope you guys will try these recipes and um, and let me know how how they came out. Um, and please uh, like, sub, like, subscribe, and uh, share these recipes with your friends and family. And uh, once again. Thank you for thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Okay? Be safe.